Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Journey. Today's video, we're gonna be continuing the grind. Now, unfortunately, we've kind of hit a wall again as we've been going through and making more progression with our now resonating haul. We are at 150. We have three heroes at 150. We have two that are at 140. Even looking at the equipment that we built out, we're at 146 resonance right now, which it's been incredibly difficult, but a lot of the resources or a lot of the stuff that we've been getting has been kind of dropped from the AFK progression. Now, right now we are at, I, I believe it's what, 634. We have to push to 645. This is going to be the pivotal point. So getting another 11, level, 11 levels in here is gonna unlock the next zone, which means we can make some more progression. Now to do this, we've been using, of course, the rewards that we're getting out of here, but also the rewards out of here because we're getting now 160 hero essence. And I don't know if it's worth it. Let me know in the comments what you think. But I've been using diamonds in here. Now we do have some diamonds, but also getting out gear. So I've gotten a lot of really solid gear in here that I've actually been able to replace, as well as the essence. Now, one thing to note, and big shout out to D2 um, that they were talking about this, is in the training manual. So the training manual right now, we have a couple million within the training manual. Now, what happens is when you hit level, when you hit residence level, 240, that is right, 240, similar to AFK Arena, is the point where the residents essentially will stop with the EXP. So you will no longer level up individual heroes, which means at that point, so once you do hit that 240 point, all of this experience that you have not been using from all of those books are gonna go ahead and transfer over to Essence. And I'm not sure what the conversion is, but overall, when you're getting all of this, you're gonna transfer these over or essentially you're gonna move them into some more essence. Now, I've been farming up a lot of diamonds and I've been doing it through the Heroes Affinity. Now, this was a really cool trick that we talked about a couple um, couple days ago on live stream. So when I click Smokey, you can click Smokey three times and you can see that little plus two um, little shamrock or little four leaf clover that pops up. Now, looking here at the Affinity itself, you wanna hit in when you look kind of where we're at, for the affinity, you want to hit a very specific mode or which is 1300. So 1300 infinity is yielding us the invitation letter. These are quite a bit higher from 1300 to 3000. So I want to hit 1300 with these heroes and going through, that's essentially what I've been doing to get a lot of diamonds. Boom, we're at 1300 right there. Okay, Smokey is good, but this is giving us 1300 right there. This is not only giving us diamonds, but this is also giving us the ability to actually come in here and farm a lot of the affinity, which I know click on the hero one, two, and there should be three. I think we get three up every single day, but I'm wondering even going back, there we go, one, two, three on there. You can get affinity. I know you do get a little bit of affinity when you're going through and you'll notice these little green shamrocks that do show up um, when you're making progression with the team. But going in here and making sure, again, we're trying to shoot for that 1300. So using a lot of these. Now, these are the resources, essentially, that I picked up along the way. So these are things that we've picked up. I don't know if there's another reason or, or another um, why you should be using these or somewhere else you should be using these. But overall, I, I think I might mess it up if these are used, honestly, a bunch of different other places. But overall, looking at the rewards in here, we're getting 100 diamonds, which, of course, is going to let us do some more summons. Also getting the invitation letter, again, that is gonna allow us to do some more summons. And going through and not ignoring this. Again, this is a point where I've been kind of ignoring this quite a bit. And I see, can, can see these specific ones, which are for different heroes that you can actually get out of the friendship store. These ones, I'm gonna minus two of these out. Because remember, we're only trying to get through 1300. And only 1300 is what we're pushing to, to pick these up. Then of course, we'll hop out of this one. Boom, one, two, we'll get our little three affinity here and continue down the line. You can see a lot of these, we didn't really pick up much infinity at all. There's a thousand, there is our 13, boom. Gonna give us some more resource, another invitation letter right there. Again, to make sure that we do our little clicks. And AFK games, it's gonna be little by little going through and building out this affinity. But overall, when it comes to the ability essentially to build these out or getting the heroes to the point where you're gonna be able to get a lot more resources out of there. I'm all about it. Anywhere that I can pull free resources out of here, especially getting some diamonds for some summons. But as you can see, we've already gotten a multitude of summons before we hop in there and do the summons. This of course is gonna make a big difference when it comes to progression. Now, in addition to this, we've been pushing towers quite a bit. 
I'm trying to get and make progression in there. And I'm thinking we're almost, look, we're running out of running out of loot essentially here. But again, there's some more free diamonds. And I think this is really cool. You can go through, you can read through all of their tales, know all the story, uh, kind of all, of all these heroes if you want to. But right now, again, I'm, I'm trying to focus on and build out just this affinity a little so we can actually get the ability or get to the point of getting more summons. Th that's the big thing. So once we go through here, you can see we have a couple more left. So I'm gonna hop over, we'll hop on Hailwin, the Infinity, and some of these have none. Even here where if we're looking to build, let's say 12 and we got some change, there's our 13. Yeah, some of these I haven't built really any at. The Tails, of course, we can build it up a little bit. But who else do we got? There is Cecilia. Again, another hero that I don't know. Yeah, it got a little bit of affinity in there. That'll give us what, just under, boom, there's 13. I'm gonna hop in and do some summons. Fingers crossed, guys, we can get some really, really good summons in here. Um, looking at Cecilia, looking at a couple other heroes. Cecilia, it's weird because as money, as we've gotten kind of copies of her, we've been really, really slacking or really not seeing anything, any copies of her at all, which is um, pretty sad to see. We, we've gotten to the point where, like I said, we were getting copies in the beginning, seemed like we were making pretty decent progression with the hero, and then unfortunately, it just kind of fell off a cliff, and we haven't been able to make any more progression at all. But I'm hoping this is gonna make a difference. And I really do. We'll go through a little bit later, finish up the rest of that affinity. There is a skin for Iran, which again, we don't have. A Little bit more affinity here, we get a new tail. And then of course, these we actually picked up. You can see they're giving us a little bit more than 110. Don't know if they're gonna be used anywhere else, but there we go. There's another 100. So let's see what we got out of here, guys, for our summons. Now, of course, battle modes. We've been going in, we've been building a lot and getting a lot of copies of Odie. Um, I'm gonna continue doing that. Getting, of course, our title essence to build up the, the signature items or the exclusive items, as well as the skills. We've been going in here and we've been building up OD quite a bit, and I'm going to do the exact same. I, I want to go in here and I want to continue focusing on and building out OD. But look at that, guys. That is some pretty good, again, right here, the AFK EXP. But we got 1,200 arena coins for being an epic, and there we go. Dear Traveler, the first round of the champion has been chosen. Before assessing every Friday, players reaching Legendary 3 and Rank 100 will qualify. I don't think I'm anywhere near that because we're going to have to push a lot more progression. Now, of course, this is the reset. We did get the reset in here. I believe we have the ability to hop in here, and I don't think it's the monthly reset. Nope, those are still sold out. But even looking at the letters, we have, what, 7,000 diamonds already. Again, the arena, we're grinding out quite a bit. Even here in the Dream Store, we almost have the ability. This, I believe, is Cecilia's. We'll have to go through here and buy these discounted. If you're going to buy them, buy them discounted. Then, of course, still waiting for these on the reset. So we can hopefully get some more heroes. We get the weekly arena rewards and then the daily arena awards, which, of course, are just going to combine as we continue making more progression to get all of these out of here. Farming up your guild as well. Really, really heavy, heavy have to farm. But let's hop in here. Let's do the the um, recruitment. Now, 21 hours now. We do know there is a new Wilder that is coming uh, very shortly. So we're going to have to see exactly how well she performs. What do we got? 20 here. This could give us the ability to essentially, what, 20 plus 2 because 6,000 diamonds. This is going to give us the ability to do four summons, which guarantees another S-level hero which I'm hoping it's going to be Cecilia. I would love to see it. One, two, three, four, five of those copies, guys. Wow. That is really, really good on the summons. Yesterday when we did the live stream, we did really well with the summons as well. Let's see if we get an orange. There it is. There's our S hero, which is Iran. That's okay, because overall for the tower, um, definitely need him. He's a hero. Again, you're going to have to build when it comes to the Wilder Tower just because, and there's three more purples, just because you're pretty limited on the heroes that you can get. So you're definitely going to have to build them out. There's a copy of Damon. There again is Meryl Lee building these heroes out. And I could save some of the diamonds, but overall there's a copy of Odie. That's kind of the, the one that we've been looking for. Again, trying to get him to Supreme Plus and building him up a little bit further. Now, of course, we have, what, 19 more to go. I'm going to leave these in here like we did before. And I'm hoping we can skip the animation in just a minute for the summons and continue our progression in here. A couple more copies of Heroes, I feel like, is really um, where we have to grind to. 
and it should say in a minute that we skipped the animation. I'm not sure if you can just straight up turn this off. There we go, so we've skipped the animation. There we go, so there's the Omnicorn, Omnicorn. And of course, all of the Omnicorns we've been using quite a bit to level up these heroes. There's Vipuron, which not enough currency, but that does give us another copy there. 10 more, so one more full summon and we're guaranteed one of these heroes. Now, of course, the new hero is going to be in the rate up, meaning that you need diamonds or you do need the rate up invitation letters. So if you're looking to get that new, um, the new Mauler hero that is coming out, you will definitely have to go in there and farm it up a little bit um, to use your diamonds. And I know a lot of players are saving diamonds for that exact thing. Now, Corinne, we got another copy, guys. That is mythic. Now, of course, very similar to um, some of the other heroes is we want to get the exclusive equipment. A lot of players have said when it comes to Merrily, when it comes to Corinne, um, this signature item is the one that is absolutely broken that you want to go ahead and build these heroes out in their entirety. And there's Merrily as well. That is going to make a big difference for the damage that we're putting out. And again, 12 more to get that um, mythic or that exclusive item in there. So definitely got some more progression. Who do we got? Damon in here as well. I know we picked up quite a few copies of him, but I don't know if we can build out Eron either. I'm not thinking, what is that? One more. Nope, we need one more on there to actually build them out. But overall, that's going to make a big difference. Now, when it comes to the Dream Realm, those heroes are going to make a really, really big difference. Honestly, it's going to be cool to see. I want to hop in here real quick. Let me do one try. And like I've said before, when we first come in here, we do this when we first come in. We run this a couple different times. And then, of course, we do this a couple different ways. So we're going to put Smokey up front. I'm going to put Thorin on the side. Hopefully, Thorin can take the ability, essentially the death in there. We have Merrily in here. We do have Odie in here. We have Kruger in here. And this one, we are popping the Star Shard spell. This, of course, is the best in slot for every single team. So I'm hoping we have three 150s in here. Then, of course, everyone else is 140. We could play around with this. We might actually make Merrily at 150. Um, but I want to try this just one single try, see exactly where we can kind of land damage-wise in here. Because again, this is something that we've been pushing on a regular basis, is having the ability to not only survive this game mode, but also try to kill the Elite Challenger. Now, of course, with Merrily being built, Thorin's a little bit higher, um, Smokey's a little bit higher, um, Odie has already built up a significant amount. Damage in here should be pretty good. Now, insta-kill with this one, we want to land on Thorin. The Thorn is the one that we're looking to get the insta-kill. It looks like we're taking a lot of damage here with Smokey. And there we go. So Thorin took the first kill. Seven million in here right now. Ooh, Merrily went down pretty quick. 72. So there we go. Can we push eight million in here? OD went down. We're very, very close. 7.8 million. That's a pretty good run right there. Um, just looked at based on the, on the ability we have here. So there's 40, 50, 60, 70. Almost pushed to 80, which again, with a little bit of RNG. Top 23, so doing pretty good. Now, of course, we do have Rainier, but he's basic. He is very, very basic. Now, I do run one or two comps in here with Rainier, again, just to kind of see exactly where we're going to land. And we do get a buff right here. Now, I'm not going to go plus five, plus five. These are going to be kind of useless at this point, but it is going to give a buff there for the tanks. And then again, equipment wise, I don't think we can do anything else at this point, which we cannot. We'll recycle almost to red equipment, guys. We're very close. 145 once we get to, I believe, 150. 150 takes us into the realm of the red equipment. So literally, we're right teetering on making a little bit more progression and being able to finish out a little bit more of the content. Now, we also do have the guild chest in here. I'm going to go ahead and I want to do the wish hero recruit because we talked about this before. We want to make sure that we can try to get Stellar Crystals. Um, let's see what we can get in here. Confirm to open the Wish Hero resources. Everyone's going to be around here. FHG, there's Brookie. Uh, I don't see D2 in here, so they give us a high five right there. Boom, I get my big chest, which gives me hopefully some good loot. We got a Wish. We did. We got a Wish. Very cool. Um, we did get a summon in here. We got some good, very good guild medals. Temporal Essence in there. Look at the experience. Um, no essence in there, but we did get some dolly tickets, but we did get a wish. Let's go ahead and use that wish. Now, again, looking at the heroes that we have right now, um, Rainier is the one that we're looking for and the one that we're looking to build out. He is really the only one. Now, we did 10 summons before within the Mystic House. 
and we'll get them eventually. We'll, we'll eventually pull another copy again with just literally our one summon. Now, of course, 29 more till we get guaranteed. RNG factor hold to tap the Stargazer. I don't know if there's any RNG behind this, but power is up to the point. It boom, shoots into the cosmos and bam, we get four Omnicorns. That is it. Again, 28. Every time we get closer, we could get some diamonds out of here, but ultimately we are going to get and continue to farm um, till we get Rainier. He is the one that we're looking for. And then of course in here, not enough diamonds as of right now, but that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Making a lot more progression. I'm thinking in the AFK realm, we should be able to hit those 11 more floors to get to that next zone, being able to unlock a couple things in the map, especially the store so we can get some more gear and continue our progression. It's slow, steady, but we are getting there. So again, guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.